Presentations tool is a powerful feature for creating collections of clips and data, helping to turn your information into insights ready to share with your team. You can build your presentations manually with any of Naxport's interactive visualization and search tools, or configure key categories and descriptors in your button template to be automatically added into a presentation. Presentations are a uniquely functional destination for your analysis, save you time and allow you to maximize your impact. The presentations window in Naxport opens from the timeline and can also be opened from the main menu. The first task is to create a presentation. Let's create one. First, choose a name and then accept. The presentation window opens, containing an empty list that has been created by default. Lists are where we add our clips to help organize and structure a presentation. You can create as many lists as you like. Simply click the plus symbol. We'll name each list according to the different aspects of performance that we're analyzing. For example, attack, defense, and set pieces. Now we have our lists, we need to add some clips. There are a variety of ways to do this, but we're going to look at adding clips from a timeline. Select a list in your presentation to add clips to. Then, in the timeline, select the clips you want to include. Press the number three on your keyboard or click the insert key to copy the clips to the list. You can also move clips to a list from the data matrix, dashboard and search tools, amongst others. Moving this bar, you can see that all information associated with the clip is here such as descriptors, time, and text notes. Additionally, clips can be easily sorted by dragging them to the desired position, so you have the best flow for the delivery of your analysis. Clips can be deleted by pressing delete or right-clicking and selecting delete register. This removes the clip from the presentation only, and it will still be viewable on the timeline. You delete an entire list using the trash can icon. This also deletes all clips contained in the list. On the right, just above the list of clips, are options for adding elements to a presentation. This icon adds an external video to your list. Great for quickly bringing a clip into a presentation to discuss with your team without taking it through the registering process. The second icon allows you to add images, such as single frames, JPEG exports of your dashboard, or any image you wish to use to elevate your delivery. This icon lets us add PowerPoint files. If you have any game plans or key coaching points to accompany your clips in this format, adding specific content with PowerPoint slides will only enhance your messages. Finally, you can add video transitions to make exported presentations more fluid. There are several different transitions to choose from here. Double-clicking on any clip will open a properties window. Here, you can view the clip. Quickly change the length by dragging either end or move the location of the entire clip. Additionally, you can easily add notes and see the descriptors contained within the clip. You can add new descriptors at this point, or delete them using the trash can icon. Clicking any descriptor shows the exact moment it occurred on the video. Clicking on the properties tab shows more basic options. While in this tab, you can see the existing lists in the presentation. New lists can be created by clicking here, making organizing your presentation very easy. You can add a selected clip by pressing the plus symbol. At the top of the player, there are three icons. With the first, an information bar appears. The brush icon opens the clip draw drawing tool. And the third icon allows you to add a cover by creating or importing an image. Save time building your presentations by saving various list structures. You can save a list structure by right-clicking and selecting this option. This means that you can load the same lists for future presentations instead of recreating the same list structure each time you need it. 
Let's save this structure and create a new presentation so you can see this more clearly. In this empty presentation, right click and select Load List Structure. As you can see, we now have the same organization of lists, but without the clips added. This tool is useful for creating presentations for opponent scouting or post-game reviews. Let's look at the options in the top menu. There are various options for producing presentations. We can produce a single list or produce various lists, defining whether we want separate videos for each or a single video containing them all. Before producing the video, we select the resolution and other technical details. In addition, below this we have more options, such as adding an image as a watermark to the final video. We also have the possibility of sending the list to the sharing platform. We've been looking at the basic presentation options. If we activate the advanced tab, more options appear. For example, you can assign the presentation as a favourite. This means that every time you open a new analysis, the favourite presentation will open automatically. Great for quickly accessing a presentation you're building from multiple analysis. Opening any other presentation will remove the star, indicating that this is no longer marked as a favourite. This icon allows you to import lists from another presentation to this presentation by checking the boxes of the list you want to import. Clicking here exports the presentation in pre-format. This is used mainly so that the person you share it with can see the drawings added with ClipDraw Animate or Motion. Perfect for sharing work between members of staff who are all contributing to the same presentation. Clicking this icon creates a presentation script. Select the details you want to see in the script and activate it. As you can see, the resulting document will serve as a useful guide when showing the presentation, showing the running order of the clips and any associated notes and drawings. Adding contextual notes to video clips is a frequently used process in performance analysis and being able to quickly find your notes and resulting video clips is crucial. With this, you can find clips which contain a specific word or descriptor, making finding your coaching notes and associated clips easy. The search can be done with a specific text sequence which can be a word or part of a word. Audio notes can be included or just the clips that contain notes without needing to search the text. These two icons open dashboards and the presentation matrix respectively, meaning they will show the data results for the lists you have selected. This is useful for reviewing data analysis for clips you may have combined into a single presentation list from multiple games. Here, at the top of the presentation window, the presentation mode can be activated. This environment can also be accessed from the main menu. This mode is focused on showing the presentation. When this mode is not active, you're in the environment for editing and preparing the presentations. As you can see, there are some changes to the interface. Here, amongst other things, you will find the video playback settings menu, as well as two ways to display the window. The first shows the list of the presentation in a column on the left, while the second does not show this column but offers a drop-down menu to navigate between lists. The rest of the windows displayed are common to both options. For viewing text notes, adding audio notes or viewing all registered descriptors. You can open multiple presentations at the same time. Clicking on this plus symbol lets you load any saved presentation without closing the current presentation. Select one and you'll see that you can navigate between the different presentations in this drop down menu. You can open as many presentations as you need. This is really useful when working with auto lists and auto presentations since you can save a lot of time by having all the clips open at the same time when reviewing the action. If you want more information about auto lists and auto presentations, we'll leave a link in the description.
And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.